Okay, so two clear nights in a row and I'm going after my second galaxy in the space of two days, M106. Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Tonight I'm gonna to be in the garden photographing M106. Now I decided to, to photograph this after seeing a number of people shoot this target recently. And it looks like an absolutely brilliant target. I've never photographed it before, but it's in the constellation Ursa Major right next to the Pinwheel Galaxy. And I think it's quite often overlooked due to the, the amazing targets that are high in the sky at the moment. Um, you've got the Whirlpool Galaxy, you've got Bodes and Cigar Galaxy, you've got the Pinwheel Galaxy. I think M106 has been overlooked really. So I thought I'd give it a go. There's actually two galaxies right next to each other. So um, M106 has a companion galaxy as well, which is, it's a, uh, a side-on or an edge-on galaxy, which I'm hoping I can fit into the same frame. Um, I've had a look at a couple of telescope simulators and it's quite close as to whether I can fit it in, but I'm gonna give it a go. So tonight is supposed to be clear most of the night. There's a bit of cloud coming in between about nine and 10, 11 o'clock at night, but then it should clear up and should stay clear most of the night. So I should get a couple of hours of uh, data on this target. It's, um, there's about a 50% moon, so it's not uh, not ideal for, for broadband targets, but it's not too much of an issue. I'm actually shooting away from the moon, so um, that should help things. Now this is gonna be the third time I've used my new camera, the ASI 2600 MC Pro, and so far I've been absolutely blown away with it. Um, I always knew that I wanted a, a, a cooled color camera, um, but I've heard online that it's not gonna be as sensitive, it's not gonna be as good as the, the mono, but so far it's been absolutely perfect for galaxy season so I'm hoping that tonight I can get another another decent image with it and I will show you that image of course at the end of the video but I'm just about to uh, to set up now once I've set up um, I will show you the the setup I'm using tonight um, and then just need to wait for it to get dark and start collecting some data okay so just a quick rundown of the gear tonight I've got the ASI 2600 MC Pro so that's my camera that's the new one-shot colour camera, which I'm really impressed with so far. Got the ZWA electronic focuser, so obviously that's going to be controlling the focus. My guide camera tonight is the 290 Mini, so it's the Mono. And I've got a generic 60mm guide scope, which I picked up just from Amazon, I think. And all of this is connected to the ASI Air Pro. So the ASI Air Pro is in charge of the auto guiding and also in charge of the image capture. The mount is the NEQ6 Pro, which is quite well loaded up as you can see with four counterweights on there. It also has the AstroZap heated dew shield, which is gonna be keeping off any dew throughout the night. And this is all on the Skywatcher 190 Maxitoff Newtonian telescope, which is a thousand millimeters, um, 190 millimeter aperture, F ratio of 5.26, I believe. So hopefully it all goes to plan and uh, hopefully the forecast stays clear. Okay, so the clouds did roll in as expected, but they did pass and I'm now collecting data. Um, I did manage to fit both of the galaxies in the frame. So I've got the M106, obviously, which is my main target, and then the companion galaxy, which is NGC4127, I believe. Um, and hopefully they look really good in one image. Now I just thought I'd quickly run down my uh, my settings tonight. I'm shooting five minute subs. I've got the camera cooled to minus 10 and i am got the gain set to 100. And that first exposure is just about to pop up on screen now. And, and there it is. Okay, so obviously there's a, a satellite running through it, which isn't ideal, but apart from that, I'm pretty pleased with that. I think that that looks really good. I like the way that the galaxies are framed. 
I always get excited when I see a lot of detail in a single exposure because I, I tend to think that that means that I'll get a decent final image. Um, but yeah, so far, all going quite smoothly. Um, so fingers crossed, I should be able to collect quite a few hours of data on this target tonight and um, I'll show you the image at the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching, um, I do really appreciate it. Um, I can't believe so many people have subscribed to the channel, I never thought anyone would, would view these videos but I think the last time I checked I had over 400 people have already subscribed so I can't thank you enough. Um, I do really appreciate all of your support, your comments and your likes. So thank you very much for getting this far. Um, do let me know what you think of the image at the end of the video.